Who are you? My name is Zoe <laughs> I like battle rap, long walks on the beach. That's awesome. And the hate chase more beats. <laughs> Introduce yourself. It's your boy, it's your boy Waffle Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rock, <laughs> Roscoe's expert, Chase Moore, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was the new native name? I forgot it. Oh, yeah. Chief, Chief Running Game. <laughs> Chief Running Game. Yeah, aka Chief Running Game. Make sure you edit that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're on this, uh, the card for King of the Dot coming up next month, right? Indeed. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second, but uh, I want to get your guys' thoughts on like all the battles that are going to go down. So, first battle that we kind of like, our headliner is Math versus Diz. What do you guys think about that? Chase. Uh, I think it's a good battle, actually. It probably, um, it should have happened for a while, you know? Um, so, um, I think it's a, it's a good matchup. Um, I think Matt is, um, Matt is really good, and uh, so is Diz. I think with it being in L.A., I'll probably give the edge of it to Diz, but I'm expecting Matt to come, you know, to come swinging. Um, maybe figuratively and, and, you know, literally, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably give the edge to this one. I think it's a good battle, though. It's got potential to be good. I think, yeah, I think Diz, you know, everyone's like I'm talking shit about Diz right now, like kind of on this like anti-disaster like wave or whatever. But the thing about this matchup is I think Diz needs that motivation, like like grudge match shit. You know what I mean? And that's what I think this is. It's like he needs that extra fire, you know, because like he feeds off this. Diz is battle rap. Like, he like feeds off that shit. I think it's gonna be interesting. I think this guy don't want to say shit. I'm sorry to say that shit too. Bro. It's a good battle though. It's a good, it's a good headlining battle. Like, yeah. Yeah. All right, so the next battle, Daylight versus Charlie Clips. <laughs> Depends which Daylight you get. <laughs> Wait, did you know it's Daylight? <laughs> yeah, Naked Daylight or the Reed Dollars Daylight? I want the Reed Dollars Daylight. It's um, a good battle. Clips' performance factor is undeniable. Um, it's just so unpredictable with Daylight. I, I, like, I, on paper, I'd say Clips would win it, but... Daylight can do something. Clips can have the best run of all time, but if Daylight does something that gets that reaction out of people, it almost cancels out <laughs> like how good the battle was. You know? That's the genius of Daylight, is like he don't have to beat you. He removes you from the equation. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, you know, yeah, that's very true. But like, you know, whether it's be magic, he might legitimately, legitimately took that battle, but no one's talking about that. They're talking about the Matrix, like, you know, the twerking girl and all that shit. Like, he, he makes it not about the battle to where it's genius, though, because he removes his opponent from the equation a lot of times. You know what I mean? But I think that the thing about the, I think order will play a part too. Because order, who goes first? Because the thing about Clips is he's one of those cats that can freestyle and can use anything against you. So if they like does do something ridiculous that does get that matchup and then Clips has that time to rebuttal it, you know, I think he will. It'll be crazy. I think a lot of that matchup does come down to like order. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Um Next matchup, um, O Red versus Rum Nitty. I'm actually a big O Red fan. Uh, I've liked O Red since Lock City. I think he has a little bit of a hit or miss tendencies, but he actually is like a really good battle rapper. Um, Rum Nitty is definitely coming up. I think first, my personal preference, I like O Red better because I just like that super structure, just like in the pocket shit. But I think Rum Nitty maybe has the West Coast advantage, but I think um, I think I'm gonna edge it to uh, O Red. Just my preference. I'm, I like the type of shit that he's doing on that gutter shit. It'll be good. It'll be interesting because it's his first time out west. Right. That I know of. Right. At least like the king of the dot and shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so like, I'll be interested to see. He's a little different everywhere you go, you know, every audience and all that shit. So I think it'll be an interesting dynamic to see how his performance really plays out out west. 
or maybe he's got some momentum right now, but you can never, uh, I don't know, that's one of those toss-up matches I feel like on this card. Depending on what's going on, the momentum tonight can go either way, they're going to love it. I'm interested to see that. Like I said, I think though, me, I'm a, just to play devil's advocate to you, I'll say Nitty Edge, just because he's got some momentum right now. He's been out here, this is his comfort. Right, right. Yeah, his performances have been really good lately. So. I wouldn't be mad at it going either way. Next one, Real Deal versus Chilla Jones. Oh, I forgot about that one. Real That's Deal a, and Chilla, huh? It's kind of an interesting, it's kind of an interesting matchup. Uh, I don't know. That could be okay. Though. Like, I think, actually, no, I mean, it'll be bad. It'll be a good battle. Um, I'll probably give it to Real Deal. I think Chilla Jones is really good, and his technicality is good, but Real Deal can adapt. He knows, you know, he, he has a lot of experience. Uh, I'll, I'll give it to Real Deal. I think he's probably a more well-rounded battler than Chilla is, but I like Chilla, though. He's, he's, he's really good. Like, Real Deal will probably be able to, he'll be able to do, like, the bar shit, but then he'll be able to make fun of the wordplay shit in a way that's, like, he can do that. You know, he can do the serious shit and then mix it with the jokey shit, which I think people appreciate a lot more. I think it's one of those things that it's going to come down to, like, preference on the side of, you know, Chilla is, like, a lot of just bar, bar like, a lot of a lot of bars and wordplay, whereas I feel like Real Deal is a lot of times more, um, like, angle-oriented, you know, like, not necessarily, like, heavy-hitting bars every two or four or anything, but has to paint, like, an overall concept or picture that, you know, to validate his opponent or whatever. So if he utilizes that right, he could take some momentum from Chilla, but as far as, like, bar for bar, I don't know, you might have his hands full of Chilla too, so. That's a, that's a good one, that's a good style call. Yeah. Um, what about Marlo and Shuffle T versus Dirtbag Dan and Caustic? I'm, most, I'm actually really excited for this battle, man, for, um, for that two on two, because, I don't know, maybe a lot of people probably won't feel me on this, but, like, I don't know, it adds some, like, fun to the event. You know what I mean? Like, everyone is, like, so hard body and wordplay and so serious that I feel like it'll be a good, like, change of pace in the mix. It should be somewhere in the middle, too, or, like, something that is, you know, um, anyways, I think that'll be a good little change of pace. It'll be, like, a genuinely fun battle where I think both sides will be enjoying it. And that should always translate to, like, the crowd. Yeah. I don't even know you can beat Shuffle Team and Marlo, though. They're so funny, like, you could say the craziest shit, but, like, that fucking, that humor factor is huge, especially in two on two. It's like, it's less serious, it's more like, it's not as, like, you know, planned out as, as, as like, a three round rehearsed solo battle. So, the, when those guys are in their element, they're so funny, but same with Dan and Costa, too, though. I, I think it's gonna be a really funny battle. It's, it's, we need more shit like that in these events. I'm hyped on that one. For real. <laughs> Um, what about Big K versus Danny Myers? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Big K, real man. <laughs> I like Danny Myers, but Big K is like to me like besides like you know like Hollow and Yo Mac. Like, you only K, saying that because I'm here, man. Big K is the shit. I'm trying to make a girl I think blush. He's win. That fool's consistency is crazy right now. I think this is like a people's matchup. Yeah. I think they're both like favorites right now. You know, they both got momentum. And uh, I think the building's gonna explode. Like, I think that just with the dynamic of both of them, like their previous battles, yeah. and they're like, you know, those guys on the come up. So. <laughs> Well, Danny's performance factor is crazy, and he can get, he, I've seen him live a couple of times, and he gets the reaction, you know, that's going to make it, like, an explosive battle. That K is just so precise and consistent. Uh, he's like my favorite. Hey, for the record, man, a lima bean ain't a vegetable, bro. That shit's shit a legume, bro. That's a legume. That's a legume in the future. <laughs> Just because of that, I'll give it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last one, uh, Dead Man versus Dead Ice. That's kind of random, man. I'm not gonna lie. That, that's right. That's not. I, would, I don't think I would have put Dead Man versus Dead Ice. I think Head I'll give it to Head Ice, bro. Ice has that. Dead Man's really good. Like the punches he has are crazy. But. Head Ice just has that persona. It's like his aura it's is natural form. It's like you can't beat his aura. Yeah. He like 
feel comfortable to like get it. Like he doesn't have to say the most wow, you know, wow fact and shit, but he, he can actually rap, <laughs> genuinely rap. You know what I mean? Which not everyone has. I mean, like the personality and everything fits it. I'll take, I like him. I'll take Ice though, man. Like, he's one of my favorites. Though. Hey, but even if that fool says something that you don't get it, the way he says it though is so convincing. Even if I don't understand that shit, man. Like, yeah, he's, yeah, that's <laughs> that's real. Yeah, he's like true, true, true. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, can I, I, I want, I do want to say though that uh, Hill Max is gonna be a I want to say that for the record. I think, I think Aver is gonna do well, but obviously I might be biased. You think Aver is gonna try? I hope so. Like, if he comes with the same shit he came with Costa, he's gonna get bodied. But I feel like he'll want to, he'll want to come back and redeem himself. Because it's his, if he sleeps on ill, then I mean that's just that's his bad. <laughs> But I think he's gonna try though. I don't think he's gonna happen. But isn't he battling goods like? Yeah. Man, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I made that mistake before. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, everybody gets one. I'm not gonna go hard on them for the last one. Everybody gets one. <laughs> you know, better bounce back though. Be prepared. Right. Right. That's a good event, though. I think it's well-rounded card. Yeah. Yeah. That's really tight. Cool.